What's up everybody, David here, and today we're gonna to be checking out the brand new Joey Sturgis Drum Shots Pack from Drumforge. Drum Shots is the Drumforge line of signature one-shot samples. We've gotten sample packs from Taylor Larson, Dave Otero, Andrew Wade, a bunch of heavy hitters, and now we finally have a pack from the man himself, Joey Sturgis. So today we're gonna to check them out, throw them in a live drum mix, and see how they sound. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into the session and get started. Now, the session we're gonna be using for this demo is my song, Wake Up, and shameless plug here. If you guys like this song, it's available on all streaming platforms. If you wanna download it and mix it for yourself, the link, as always, is in the description below if you wanna check that out. So definitely, definitely do that if you like what you hear. All right, so let's take a listen to what it sounds like right now with no samples. Technically, there are two samples on this track. It is the Invasion Library from Get Good Drums. It's just the room sounds on the snare, that's it. So here's everything without the drum shots. All right, I think that sounds pretty good, but of course we can beef that up. We can liven it up quite a bit there. Now, uh, another shameless plug here. If you guys like these drums, I actually hired a session drummer by the name of Cameron. He goes by Smangit Drums on Instagram and Facebook. You can hire him if you need session drums as well. He did a fantastic job on Wake Up. Again, I will put links in the description below if you're interested in checking his stuff out. All right, so before we jump into the sounds, I wanna talk about what's available inside this pack. So you have the normalized and original versions of the samples. I used original for this whole project. And you have five different kicks, five snares, and I believe seven different toms to choose from. And each one has a direct mic, an overhead, a room, and a blend of all three of those. So just as an example, So as you can hear, the blend is all of those blended together. That's what I used on all of these samples we're gonna be listening to today because I really like just the balanced sound of the blend. But of course, if you want just a room track, you have that option. If you want just a direct mic, you have that option. And you can do a lot of cool things having that versatility. All right, so I've already prepped this entire project. Every sample is loaded and ready to go, phase checked. Uh, the volume is already kind of set where I like them. And what we're gonna do is just basically A, B through all the samples and see which one we like more and build a cool drum mix. As of now, the plugins have no external plugins, no extra mixing or anything EQ, nothing of the sort, just some volume leveling and that's it. So let's start with the kick, which is gonna be the purple tracks right here. All right, so I think I like the jaw and the punch the most. So I'm actually gonna use both of these. What I'm gonna do with the punch real quick is I am going to throw a Fab Filter EQ on there and just take out a little bit of low end. Right there. So we're gonna blend that in. All right, so I really like how that sounds so far. Super easy, let's move on to the snare. All right, so I'm really liking the smack and the spank, so I'm gonna use both of them.
That sounds fantastic to me. So I'm leaving that alone. The snare sounds dope. All right, so let's move on to some toms. Now the toms in this song are completely replaced. I wasn't really feeling the recorded toms. I was having some trouble with them. So I replaced all of them with the Three Sigma audio pack, but we're gonna throw the drum shots right on top to see if we can liven them up a little bit more, make them poke out the mix a little bit more. So the ones I chose were the Bang, Bing, and Bong. Um, those names are weird. <laughs> it was kind of hard to uh, discern which one was which from those, but it's okay, I figured it out. So there was a high, a mid, and a low tom. Uh, I needed a fourth tom because there's four toms on this track. So what I did was in the sampler track, I just lowered the pitch of this one by seven semitones. So this is the regular sample. And this is the lowered one. It doesn't sound the best on its own, but I'm really just looking for that low end in there and that body out of it, which I think it'll work pretty well. So there is another tom pack I can use. This, uh, where is it? Top, mid, bottom, and boom has four toms, but they're a very um, more attack focused type of tom, which I do like, but I liked the body in the other three more. So this is just an example of those other four. Great toms, but very, very attacky, which is not really what I'm looking for here. So we're just going to uh, unmute these toms and see how it sounds. So before the drum shots toms. And after. One more time. Now I'm not trying to completely replace or reinvent the wheel on these toms. I just wanted to add a little more attack, a little more life into them, and drum shots did that perfectly. They already sound great on their own, but this is just that extra five to 10% to make them pop a little bit more, and it does a great job at it. So we're gonna use that section right there. I'll go back a little bit more, and we're going to test before and after all of our drum shots. So get a couple bars of kick and snare in there, and uh, so this is before all of the drum shot samples. and after drum shots. That sounds killer. So I'm gonna go to one more part in this song. This is probably one of my favorite drum parts in here. And once again, before the drum shots, and after. I mean, what more do I need to say? Now, just like the Dave Otero pack, I feel like I've barely scratched the surface on what is possible with all these samples. What's really cool, what I like to do personally, is I like to take the room samples and use those to make snare bombs, actually. I should do a video on that, actually, that's a good idea. So <laughs> there's a lot you can do with these one shots, especially with these having the direct, the overhead, and the room mic. Sometimes it's nice to just throw in the overhead to add that little bit of extra body in the snare. So like I said, I barely scratched the surface on these. There are lots of possibilities and just a ton of versatility, especially in this pack. I feel like this is one of the stronger ones as far as options, especially having the different mics for each single drum and having the normalized folder as well. So there's a lot you can do with the Joey Sturgis drum shots. Like all the other packs, I believe this is available for $29, and I think it's definitely a worthwhile thing to have in your toolbox. One shots are fantastic just for getting that always 100% consistency and punch in your drums, which is what we want. But of course, make sure to blend so you don't you know, kill the vibe of the entire drummer. But these are always a great thing to have in your arsenal and having something as versatile as this can come in handy on pretty much every mix you do. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. I'll put the link down in the description below if you're interested. And let me know what you think down in the comments. And actually, while we're there, let me know what Drum Shots pack is your favorite. They've done a lot of them so far, and I would love to hear which pack you guys are feeling the most. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. If you like this song, check it out on my channel. If you like the drums here, check out Smangit Drums on Instagram and Facebook. Link in the description below. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is David, and I will see you next time.